In this tutorial, you'll learn how to quickly make a basic chord and melody generator, just like the ones you hear in the new Pink Ideas YouTube Shorts. This live set template will also be available for download in the link in the description below. Here I have two tracks loaded, one with this add-on pack Upright Piano instrument, and another blank MIDI track, which I'm setting to receive and send MIDI to and from the Upright Piano track. You can check out our tutorial on recording MIDI with Pink Eye to learn how to get this set up. I've started here by adding one Pink Eye conductor to the upright piano track, for which I've then mapped the letter S on my keyboard to the activate button so that I don't need to go back to my conductor track to start the generator. I'm going to look to this really useful Rhythm LFOs preset folder to set up the foundation for the chord generator. This holes and halves preset uses the built-in LFOs to offer rhythm variation between whole notes and half notes. The macro is linked to the duty cycle of the rectangle LFO such that fully clockwise movement generates only half notes, counterclockwise generates only whole notes, and in between offers some mix of both depending on the placement. I'll leave this at zero to generate only whole notes, moving probability to 100% to guarantee a whole note is played, reduce my leap range to 1 so that there's no voice movement, and reduce my velocity outputs so that the chord is more subdued than the melody, which we'll add shortly. I'm now copying this into three parallel devices. You'll notice here that in copying the identical device, the single macro automatically translates to all of them. I'm slightly modifying my pitch center on each so that I can generate a three-note chord, one note from each device. Side note, we have a new module called the Harmonizer coming out in February 2025 that adds a wild amount of flexibility for generating harmony and really fun MIDI delay lines. I'm going to activate the device to quickly check in on my chord voicing and see if I want to adjust any pitch centers. Nothing I want to change there. Let's look to our Rhythm LFOs preset folder for our Melody Maker. I'll bring in this 4s and 8s preset, which like the holes and halves will utilize a macro controlling the subdivision LFO to weight output between quarter notes and eighth notes. Again, fully clockwise for more eighth notes and fully counterclockwise for more quarter notes. I'll leave it in the middle for a balance of both and increase my probability to 100% so that I won't get any silence, which is just a matter of taste for right now. With our blank MIDI track already set to receive MIDI from our performer, I'll arm this clip and immediately hit S on my keyboard to prepare the recording. With global launch quantization set to one measure, I'll click play in the middle of my fourth measure here, and then hit S again to stop my conductor, and the resulting four measures play back on loop. Thanks again for watching this tutorial video. Stay tuned for the second part of this series showing additional options for variation in your chord and melody generator, and be sure to hit subscribe so that you can stay on top of our latest tutorial releases, Shut Eye Sundays, Pink Ideas, and our upcoming lo-fi streams.